A purse of $8,500 exact trifecta wagering. A field of six with a scratch of the four MD Jewel Junjas. Number one is Kayla Marie, owned by Harry Nyers Horwitz of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Tim Rucker with Chip Noble. Number two is Village Ways, owned by Ackley, Ackley, and Potter. They're all of the Buckeye State, trained by John Ackley with Bob Harper. Number three is Siren, by Alan Keith of Potasco, Ohio, trained by Mike Roth, Dave Hawk. The four, MD Jewel, out judges. The five is Lamora, by Ernie Young and Jerry Andrews of Marysville, Ohio, trained and driven by Jim Daly. Next is the six, Sand Squaw, by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama, trained by Ty Loy, Brett Miller, and for the outside of the seven, Cam's Valentine, my Budweiser best bet of the night, is owned by Errol, Kohut, and Jerry. They're all the Buckeye State, trained by Marty Willem, Dan Ross, is in her sunky. That is the field for the fifth round. Break the three, siren before the start. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside. There goes the six, Sand Squaw. Right alongside of that is Lamora. Coming away in third, that is Kayla Marie. Looking to drop in there fourth and doing so, that is Village Ways. Away in fifth is Cam's Valentine. And way back to the trailer here, sixth and trailing the field is Siren back down pacing. As they wheel around the first turn and over to the opening quarter. And on top, Lamora wants the front end here. Sand Squaw have to yield for a garden spot. Racing in two. Kayla Marie is going along in third. The open Opening panel in 26 and four fifths along the inside. Racing in fourth, that is Village Ways. Fifth there, that is Cam's Valentine. And sixth and trailing the field, Siren. As they roll under the wire with five eighths of a mile remaining and on top. Lamora leads the way here. Sand Squall is right there, nose to helmet. Racing in two. A gap of two and third is Kayla Marie. First to the outside. Racing in fourth is Cam's Valentine. Begins to motor up from fourth. Fifth there along the inside. Village Ways and sixth and trailing the field, Siren. As they reach the half, they're halfway home, 55 and four fifths. A second panel at 29 seconds flat. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and on top with the lead, Lamora. Leads it here by length and a quarter. Still right there, nose to helmet. Racing in second is Sand Squaw. First over on the rim, racing in third. That is Cam's Valentine. To the inside and fourth is Kayla Marie. Fifth there is Village Ways and way back to Siren as they hit three quarters. Three quarters and 124 and one fifth. They'll pace the final turn and head for home and Lamora with the lead here to the inside. Sand Squaw is racing in second. To the outside laboring a bit in third. That is Cam's Valentine and swung up three wide. Here comes Village Ways off the turn in less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Lamora with the lead but Sand Squaw is coming to her and coming on. Sand Squaw is getting up to win it here. Sand Squaw in front finishing second Lamora. Third was the two Village Ways down to the mile. 153 flat. Sand Squaw in a new Lifetime mark. Track side of the winner's circle. The official winner of the fifth race, Phillies and Mares, preferred handicap. Establishing a new lifetime mark very impressively here. 153 flat. Here's the six, Sand Squall. A four year old Bay Mare by Village Connection out of a Cherokee woman mare. She bite no nukes. Owned by Bill Sanders of Stevenson, Alabama. Trained by the Sandman, Ty Loy. Nicely handled here this evening by wedding driver Brett Miller. For winning driver Brent Miller, that's two wins on this evening's program already, giving him a driving double. Sand Squaw, new lifetime mark, 153 flat.